Hello users of YouTube, lcpdfr.com, and just general users. This is going to be a video on how to uh, unlock your GTA 4 or EFLC folders so you can edit any configuration mod that you have in there like ELS or lcpdfr and not get that stupid um, access denied error. So what we're going to do is go over to our computer open it up we're gonna to go to where our stuff is located so it's either in program files x86 if you don't have that it's in program files nowadays everything's in x86 because that's 32-bit and everything all the old stuff is 32-bit games so we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go find our Rockstar Games folder now if you have the Steam version you go down to your Steam folder and you right click that where are you Steam? I know, there you are right click that I'm gonna to go to properties then we're gonna to go to the security tab and we're gonna hit edit gonna select users and click the little box that says full control allow and then you're gonna hit apply and it's gonna go through all this little little junk here it's basically the same process for your GTA 4 folder but we're not gonna go that far we're just gonna go up to Rockstar Games we're going to do the exact same thing I just did to this, my Steam folder. We're going to go to Properties, Security tab, Edit, Users, Allow, Apply. And that pretty much unlocks all your, all your folders so you can uh, do what you need to do. Um, it should help and you no longer have to run as administrators for uh, GTA 4. This is something that I've learned a while ago to uh, help with uh, all these errors. So now you can edit, like, say, uh, firstresponse.ini and save it without having a an issue. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoy running GTA 4 and LCPDFR.